I made a sprang tunic for the Cleveland Museum Tunic Project. I began with these threads. They're divided into two groups. We have the upper threads and the lower threads, and the threads will be twisted in pairs. You can see the front threads, upper threads, and the back threads. I grab a thread from the back and push a front thread down. Back threads come up and front threads drop to the back all the way across. These threads are going to be twisted in pairs. A back one comes up and a front one goes to the back. The structure looks like chain link fence. There is no weft thread dragged across. It's the lengthwise threads themselves that get twisted one around the other, working all the way across the row. I make a special attention to keep the threads one at a time and have them move the way I want them to move. If I'm wanting to make these whole designs, then I have two threads drop to the back and I pick two threads up to the front. But otherwise, you see the whole pattern there, otherwise I keep to my one, 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 one up, one down, one up, one down, all the way across the row. Now, when I get to the other side, when I finish, I'm going to preserve that new space between upper and lower threads with these two sticks, and I clip them in place. And this, the new space that I've got, I'm going to take it down and around and back up to the starting point. Now, this wool is a bit sticky, so I'm going to do it in two passes. I'm going to start by picking up only about half of the threads, and then I will shove this space, which causes the threads to twist in front of it, I shove this space all the way down under the bar and around and back up to the top, back up, 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 up. This is a circular warp, so it'll go all the way around. I bring that space up to the top and bring it down here. This is where I'm going to pack in a new row of uh, cloth on the other side. Okay, I'm going back to that initial space, and this time I'm going to go around taking all the threads. I take the space down and around. You can see how I'm moving, moving those threads, twisting them, causing the twist to shove, move all the way back up to the top, up and over, and back down to this side. Okay, so I bring that new space down, do, 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 do. The threads are just a bit sticky, but we can deal with that. Okay, I'm going to take these sticks out from the previous space and I put them into my newly created space. And take this one out and put it in front. And I clip these in place so that I don't lose that new working space. And then I'm going to just pack the new row of cloth down on this side. All right, mash, mash, mash it a little bit. So you can see the cloth grows in two directions at once. The, there's a pattern up here that you see, and it is the mirror image of what happened down below. I had that little fancy design you saw me putting in on the side. Let me put this white paper behind. And you see that design there? And I've got the opposite happening right up here. This is the mirror image of what I did down below. And this two pieces for the price of one, that's what we call sprang.